ะวันนี้ดัสอู้มันสปริงเลยว่าสิสิโล right so when we live in Norway in winter we have to use a lot of sprinkler fluid so my sprinkler fluid is low now and uh, I think most people they buy the like the pre-mix one you buy them at the grocery store or gas station especially gas stations are really expensive so one can of this uh, pre-mixed can cost as much as 67 in nook which is about 10 euros yeah it's a rip-off so I don't buy the pre-mixed one I use I mix it myself so I buy this can here this big ass can from uh, Biel Thema it's 10 liters uh, that's about uh, how much is that two and a half gallon and uh, the thing is that uh, you can mix depending on your need and your season so if you look here on the on uh, the label here it says that um, well, for summer you can actually mix one part of concentrate and then nine parts of water and then that means you save money and you don't need to have that thick in the summer and then if it's colder then you can mix in like more and more concentrate and if you really want it extreme to withstand minus 30 degrees celsius you can <laughs> mix one part of concentrate and one part of water in some cold times during this winter I tend to mix it uh, about to about minus 18 to sometimes yeah uh, I rarely go to one one and one to get the minus 30 degrees Celsius but uh, it's not only about saving money um, if you buy one of these I don't remember how much it cost but uh, well, you can see the price there but it's more about convenience because 10 liters will last a long time depending on which season it is in winter you can chew away 10 liters in not too long but in summer it lasts forever so it means that but well, almost forever so it means that you can um, uh, just have it in your garage and then mix it yourself and then you don't have to constantly run to a grocery store or go buy expensive one at the gas station and it also has an environmental effect because this 10 liters uh, depending on how you mix it might be enough for let's say 30 40 50 liters of mixed one and it's not good for the environment that we move around with this one here which is pre-mixed so basically all the trucks they just move around with lots of uh, water <laughs> and we have plenty of water so you should mix yourself and I will show you how I mix it uh, so this one has been pre-mixed to I don't remember how many degrees uh, I also have water uh, just ready so I don't have to run into the in, inside for water and I actually have a little bit of uh, concentrate in here so it doesn't freeze now in winter and I also use this one which is uh, uh, it's to improve the visibility uh, it, it I don't know what the heck it does but it does some magic especially in the salt schmutz to remove that uh, nasty film that salt uh, schmutz on the windscreen so this one makes wonders and of course it costs a little bit extra but I noticed that if I use this add-on um, I will spend less wiper fluid because then I usually just wipe and spray sprinkle once and then it's clean rather than if I don't have this then I have to do several wipes to try to get rid of it and where are refuel uh, well, the good thing about in the Model X is that uh, they put uh, the wiper fluid uh, here, which is better. In the S, it's completely bad design. But to avoid spilling, I also use this funnel here. Just buy it from IKEA, and then you will avoid less spilling. Right, so I filled the Model X with uh, all the wiper fluid I could fit in there and now I have uh, this little left so uh, I will show you how I mix it because I, I want to prepare this to next time I need juice huh, well, wiper juice so I don't remember how the mix here was but uh, I know nowadays that we don't need too extreme weather so let's mix it for about uh, minus 18-ish yeah so uh, I want to have the funnel there and then we put some concentrate well it doesn't really matter what to order maybe I can just put in this one first the addition yeah the add-on just put in uh, in the instruction this says you need to have 125 milliliter for, per 5 liters so I don't uh, add it that strong I just have maybe maybe like half what I could recommend it seems to do the trick for me at least so uh, and then we add the concentrate 
And so just pour it in here. Try not to spill anything in this precious juice. I mean, ideally you want to have uh, an empty uh, beholder. I mean, what do you call it? The <laughs> beholder. An empty can, I mean, yes. Before you add this, but I remember roughly how strong I want it. So uh, I think this should be uh, around here should be okay. Yes, all right. And then I'll just close this one so I don't accidentally tip it over. And then we add water. Well, it's it's almost pure water. It has a little bit, bit of mix in there, so so it doesn't freeze like I mentioned. So just add the water. And it's way more convenient to do this at home rather than having to go to uh, somewhere to grab it. Well, there you have it. A little tip for me about the uh, washer fluid. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.